Welcome to the Storycraft Society. In this week's episode, we're gonna be crafting cave tiles for our already awesome red brand hideout set. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. We're working on our Red Brand Hideout set. Last week, we did dungeon tiles. That video will be linked in the description below. Also, I put out a guide on Drive-Thru RPG on how to lay this whole thing out. It tells you what types of pieces you need to make, as well as how to build this particular dungeon in a three by three grid, which is what the tiles that we're making are. So you can check that out as well. But this week, we're making cave tiles, and they're very simple to make, and they're gonna be super, super useful, very versatile, so, Let's get into making some tiles. All right, so for this build, we're gonna need XPS insulation foam, white glue, black magic craft base coat. We're gonna need various craft paints, backyard dirt, a hobby knife, and some paint brushes. Um, we're gonna start by doing the exact same thing we did last week, where we're gonna cut our XPS foam into a three by three block. Then we're gonna cut that down into half inch thick tiles. Now, as you can see, I already have a full set of these made. So I'm just gonna show you how to make the three different types of pieces that you need to make. So we're gonna start with our corners. You're just gonna wanna draw kind of a random uh, cut edge shape here. And then we're gonna need one that actually goes from three inches down to just the opposite being a one inch side. So you're gonna wanna draw that out as well. Then we're gonna take those and we're gonna cut those individual shapes out. The third piece, however, is actually just gonna be a full three by three tile. Now we're gonna take those pieces and we're gonna texture them up with our tin foil ball. Uh, we're gonna do this just like we did the tiles from last week's build, uh, just all the open surfaces on the top and the sides. You don't need to worry about the bottom since nobody's ever gonna be seeing those. Once you have that all finished up, we're gonna be moving on to putting our backyard dirt as our ground texture on top of these tiles. So we're gonna start with a tacky glue, like Eileen's tacky glue. You could also use uh, Elmer's glue if you prefer. I just like the uh, tacky glue because it seems to hold uh, stuff like dirt or sand a little better. We're gonna put that all over the top of the piece. We're gonna spread that all around. The technique that I'm gonna use for this is exactly the same as when we made our caves for the uh, Cragmaw hideout video, uh, but I'm just gonna take and kind of loosely sprinkle the dirt all over the tops of the pieces. Uh, and then once I've got it fully covered, I'm gonna pat that dirt down into the glue to make sure that you get a nice good bond. And then you're just gonna flip the tile over and knock off all the access, let it dry. Make sure to let those dry all the way before you move on, but when you're ready, uh, move on to our Black Magic Craft base coat. That's a 50-50 mixture of matte Mod Podge and black acrylic paint. Uh, you're gonna wanna put this all over the tiles because that really locks the dirt in place and makes these uh, tiles get nice and hard. Once you have that finished, we're gonna be moving on to paint. Now, much like last week, uh, I really believe that keeping the paint scheme simple on a big project like this is the way that you stay sane. 
uh, and I'm just going with a dark brown, a medium brown, and a light brown. It's almost the exact same paint scheme as the dungeon tile video, uh, just now we're doing browns instead of grays. No tricks to this painting process, and once you have it all finished up, they'll look something like this. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to the final step, which is absolutely optional, but to take a flat black and paint the edges of the tiles. I'm just doing that so that it matches all of my other dungeon tiles. You might like the gray around the outside. You could also leave them a brown on the outside. That's up to you. I just personally prefer the black. Uh, it looks like a nice, clean edge. So in an effort to use the not smart part of my brain, I realized that I actually made this piece backwards and I needed to make one that goes this way instead. So I just whipped another one up, no big deal. Now we're finished. All right, so with our dungeon tiles and our cave tiles complete, the set's really starting to come together and we can start working on more details of the piece. So one good thing is, is we're actually gonna be using the stalagmites from our Kragma hideout build. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But over the next two weeks, we're gonna be doing more scatter pieces to really bring the set all together. Things like doors, things like beds, the cistern in area one. So I'm excited about all that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel as always. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when our videos go live every Thursday. And with nothing else to say, until next week, I'll be seeing you.